Each year, on April 18, the various branches of Iran's regular armed forces perform elaborate demonstrations for their special holiday. A lot of antiquated and familiar hardware gets shown to the public, although newer systems are revealed as well. Iranian media does its part with some glowing coverage, but, surprisingly, a new missile seems to have eluded journalistic inquiry, despite its appearance in multiple photos. The unnamed air-to-ground munition was spotted among a flight of Cobra gunships that conducted a flyover at the venue where the usual crowded Army Day parade took place. The missile with a seeker-tinted gold and a black airframe was carried under the wings of at least two Cobra gunships. Its appearance defied easy categorization and seems unrelated to the locally made copy of the AM-114 Hellfire, called the Kemer Marriage. Other air-to-ground missiles tailored for the Army's combat rotorcraft are variants of the Delavia and Tufan ATGMs and the Shaf Act that was introduced in the previous decade. Another air-to-ground missile seen on Iranian helicopters looks derived from the AIM-9 Sidewinder. Since last year the Revolutionary Guard IRGC, introduced the top attack Almaz ATGM, resembling the Israeli Spike LR-2 manufactured by Rafael, and this copycat missile was later adapted for combat drones. Now that Iran's military-industrial sector is successful at mass-producing precision weapons, the need for another missile is unclear. A probable reason is the upgrades to extend the service lives of the Army's prized Cobra gunships enables missiles with greater ranges far beyond the Tufan or the Keen. Iran's Cobra gunships are older than the Islamic Republic and are relics of a bygone era when the US deemed the country a steadfast ally. That so many remain operational is a testament to the dedication and skill of the Aerospace Industries Organization AIO, and its industrial partners. When the late Shah Pahlavi began to enlarge the armed forces in the late 1960s, his government paid for an immense helicopter fleet. In fact, the volume of orders was so large they covered Bell 214 series, medium helicopters, CH-47 transport helicopters, and CH-53 heavy transports, with many remaining in service today. Its estimated 202 Cobra gunships were delivered to Iran in the 1970s, and these proved their value during the Iran-Iraq War, 1980-1988. The past four decades of sanctions have no doubt reduced the fleet, but enough are still flyable and are able to perform combat missions when needed. Regarding this new missile, the diameter and length suggests a range up to or beyond 10 kilometers, and the Lenser Seeker tinted gold is for a munition that flies beyond the line of sight. The likeliest role of this missile is an NLOS munition with multi-mode tracking that gives the operator the choice between manual guidance, fire and forget, and even air-to-air -air targeting at low altitude. Of course, the production of this missile has implications beyond the Cobra gunship. A new generation of combat drones for the Air Force, the IRGC, and the Navy will no doubt be able to carry these missiles, and this presents a new threat for Iran's foes in the Middle East. The U.S. forces deployed in Syria are at the top of the list, but Kurdish rebels based in Iraq and Kurds aligned with Washington, D.C. are fair game as well. An interesting detail about this unnamed missile is its passing resemblance to a Chinese analog called the FT-9 that was tailored for combat drones, such as the Wing Lung I-2 dot, yet there's no evidence proving they're related. Whatever its origin chances are it's an in-house project based on an earlier laser-guided munition the firepower and lethality it gives Iranian combat aircraft is considerable. If this missile's production line grows, together with the Almas and Iranian Hellfire, their likely surface-to-surface -surface variants give the regular army and the IRGC as well as Iranian proxies some very effective precision fires that aren't just unguided rockets. There are persistent rumors a fully indigenous heavy attack helicopter is in production, and, if these are true, a set of air-to-ground munitions are waiting for it.
The Tufin 2, which was first announced as a program in May 2010, is significant in introducing a multi-sensor turret slave to a helmet-mounted site. Photos revealed so far show an IRGC machine with flat panel canopy and an IRIA helicopter with a more rounded canopy profile. Whether this signifies a service preference or whether the IRIA aircraft is based on an original A1J airframe is unclear. Iran's missile capability is also gathering pace. At the start of January General Vahidi announced that the country had begun testing subsystems for the Bever, Belief, 373 long-range air defense system, an indigenous development based on the Russian S-300. Iran had reportedly signed up for the S-300, but Russia decided not to sell. Thank you.